welcome back to our YouTube channel. I'm Miss V, the counselor at Rainier View. I'm Miss Previota, the counselor at Panther Lake. And we have some very exciting guests for you today from Federal Way Public School District. And we would love if you could share your name, uh, what you do at the school district, and what zone you are in today. My name is Stephen Hall. I'm a facilitator of social emotional learning, and I come from secondary background. And my zone, um, I don't know, uh, anxiety. <laughs> so you'd be in the yellow zone. Yellow yeah. Zone. I got two young kids and they scream a lot. <laughs> mm, that's fair. Yeah. Hi everyone, I'm Erin Hutchinson, also a facilitator of social emotional learning. And my former years, I was a school psychologist, mostly at elementary level. Um, and my zone today, I, I think I'm in the green zone today because this is the first day my daughter, who's a toddler, is back in daycare. So it's a lot calmer here. <laughs> awesome. Um, Ms. Carvieto, what, what zone are you in today? Um, I'm in the blue zone. I've been feeling pretty tired, which is why I'm drinking some coffee and getting my energy up. So, but other than that, I'm great. I'm happy, but I'm tired. I feel like what I'm about you? green green zone and blue zone same I'm very tired I woke up early this morning I'm not a morning person and I only had one cup of coffee which is not enough and uh I'm also in the green zone I feel, I feel pretty happy I got a patio table so now I can eat outside with my cat so I'm in a pretty good mood about that nice so do you want to tell us why we have our two awesome guests today uh, I would love to. All right, so as you all know, we've been making some second step videos of lessons that we've been sharing with you and reading social emotional learning books, um, as well as talking to you a little bit more about what zone you are in and how we can kind of calm down and regulate our emotions during this weird time that is COVID. So we wanted to bring these two amazing experts from our district uh, to talk to you a little bit more. That's right, Stephen, an expert, I know. Um, we wanted to bring them on to talk a little bit more about what is Second Step, especially for you parents. I know you get home links home and we provide you with a lot of information, but we wanted to give you a little bit more about that um, and also how Second Step can be useful during this time and some other pieces. Yeah, so we wanna start with what is Second Step? Either one of you wanna jump in. All right, so Second Step, um, is a social emotional learning curriculum and right now our schools are using it in preschool through fifth grade primarily and um, it's focused on explicitly teaching students um, skills to help them you know get along better with others as far and as and also regulate their own um, emotions um, and yeah, I think regulating emotions is like a big deal right now. And so I think there's a lot of utility in, in the skills and the lessons um, that are taught in second step. Yeah. I want to add that this is, I mean, this is done outside of just our country. It's in multiple languages. I mean, there's districts all over the United States, at the very least, that does it. And it's a, it's a pretty reputable uh, company, but also it is local. So the actual company that makes Second Step Committee for Children um, is based in downtown Seattle, which is kind of cool. What? That's a fun fact. I actually did not know yeah. that. I didn't know that either. Why is it important for parents to invest in it right now, even though it might be really tiring time? They might not, you know, they have all the academics to take care of it. Why do they want to take those extra, you know, 20 to 30 minutes to talk about their, with their kid a, a social about social emotional stuff? I think it's a good question. And it's, although a lot of this that we've done within our school district, even outside of uh, this COVID-19 time period, is all set up a learning situation for our children. It is best to form the practice of our teachers because it equips them with the means to not only guide their students in learning about these emotions and expressing them, but it's also helping them use the words to connect with them with. So as we transition to home life being school, right, and, and parents have become teachers, like they're navigating this along the way with them. And let's face it, yes, these kids are experiencing a lot of emotions, but 
so are we, so am I, so is, you know, my spouse, everyone's experiencing their highs and lows in the day and learning how to use and navigate those emotions. Yeah, I mean, that sounds like a lot. I think maybe my question for you all too, because I know that both of you are parents, is what kind of strategies are you using for your own self-care at home? Because you are taking on in addition to parenting, but taking on this kind of pseudo teacher role and really supporting the emotional, uh, social emotional learning for your child um, through this curriculum, like what kind of self care pieces are you using? Uh, so one thing that um, I'm doing or had been doing prior to my daughter returning to daycare um, was really being intentional around just like my own practice of like breathing and trying to incorporate that more dirt throughout the day when I was with her, but also in times where um, I just had to get centered before, you know, going into my next Zoom meeting um, or trying to get her down for a nap or, you know, whatever those, those different things we were doing throughout the day because we weren't used to having to be in that type of relationship on an, on an everyday basis. So in some ways, um, it was also just like getting to know my kid a little bit more intimately um, while working from home and balancing that between my husband and I. Um, and so I think just a lot of like calming strategies and for me, breathing really helps with that. That's great. I would also add like my daughter's four and a half, so she's learning letters, although I think she knows more than what she's saying she can. Um, <laughs> But like learning letters and numbers and stuff like that's pushing her thinking and she can get like frustrated. And I come from a background of teaching, you know, teenagers. So teaching a young child is, is out of the norm for me. And it's, it's tough. But connecting through these second step activities is something that's really easy to do. And so it's a way for us to connect and maybe step away, but still continue to learn. Um, I would also say I've utilized the tools with their because it's, I don't know, I have short patience when it comes to really basic math and alphabet, but I can sit through and, and engage in the second step videos with her. And I'd say additionally, I'd say concerning like nap time, we're much more successful if we do mind yeti together before we actually calm down and try to take a nap. Ooh, that is a really yeah. good strategy. Do you have any favorite mind yeti videos that we can share in addition to this video? So there's the listening one and there's two versions. And I think that's really important to help like calm down and listen to the emotions because although that she can get triggered, but I mean, if I'm honest, I can get triggered and, I'm, and I know I'm upset, but I want to be, I want to experience upset and not, you know, try to step away and name it to actually start calming down. The other one is the set number two on um, like the meditation one of breathing. And I've noticed she's doing it she started to do it outside of when I do it with her. And I've actually seen her put her hands on her tummy to really feel it. Because I always say, you know, when you breathe in, get a really big tummy. And she goes, my tummy's so big. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And those are, I mean, those are great strategies just because it's something that you can control in your home, regardless of what's going on. Because, um, I mean, not all the families are able to be working from home. Some of them are having to go to work or have lost work. And, you know, learning to cope with that is, is really hard. And all of these things that you guys both mentioned are things that are in your control regardless of the outside world. So I think they're really valuable strategies um, to share with our families. Yeah, and for any, any of the families with even younger kids, there's a new um, Sesame Street offering called Monster Meditation. And so my daughter and I have been looking at those. Um, and there's a specific one that Elmo does around bedtime, which is helpful. And so we talk about saying good, good night to different parts of our body and kind of doing some relaxation as part of bedtime routine too. So she's into any screen time, but those are, those are really <laughs> helpful. No, those are good to know. We'll link them at the bottom of our, of our video so then parents can easily access those. Yeah. I appreciate how you mentioned like what we control and what we can't. 
I think it's really easy to get into this, like there's so much we don't control and the news can get overwhelming. And I can only imagine, I grew up in an apartment my, most of my life. That's a lot of people in a small area that's very controlled on what you have access to, what you can do. And this at least equips me with a few things that, you know what, I can slow down and these are things that I can like control within myself. Yeah, definitely. Well, thank you guys for being on our, on our YouTube channel. It's been really fun having you. Yeah, we really appreciate all of your advice and really good insight and uh, especially all these great videos that we can share as well. Yeah, and these are two people at the district that make Second Step possible, so we're really thankful to them. Thank they you. make, and Ms. Cravioto and I's jobs a lot easier and they are very, very helpful. So we appreciate you a lot, especially during this time period. Thank you. And whenever you're processing things really quickly, you can never have enough of stopping, naming your feeling, and using a calm down strategy. That's right. Awesome. Thank, Thank you. you guys. Bye.